In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can export images automatically. Exactly. You will learn how to save a lot of your time instead of creating slices or export images all the time. So stay with me to the final because I'm gonna show you all the secrets behind a good process. So if you don't know me, my name is Jonathan and I'm here to teach you about Affinity Designer. So if you want to learn much more, please subscribe here and join on the Vectorize Club where you can get a lot of tutorials. So let's get started. The first point that you're gonna need to do, my friend, it is to organize your layers. What I mean about this, let's say you want to export these cards here. I have these examples for you and you want to export them separately all right so make sure that they are grouped for example i have here these uh, layers all right so if i export in that way it's gonna export of course this rectangle can you see this rectangle if i hit the slice later it's gonna export in this way because i'm selecting this group so make sure always to group everything that is on an object just like this one all right now after that you need to go to the export persona click here on top you're gonna see this export persona studio after that you need to uh, open the layers panel that it is here on top all right this area and then you need to select in which objects you want to export i want to export these three groups here the car one two and three after you select the ones that you want export click here below create slice all right here on top create slice all right here on the uh, slice panels i got the slices of these three cars now my friend what you need to do it is to set up the settings of this export if you just click to export right now perhaps you're gonna have some problems and that's why i'm gonna show you right now how to set up so I have here this slices panel, okay, and then I will open this car tree because we can set up here the path, which means that it is the name of this folder that is gonna be included this image. So let's say I want to export to cars. Click here, done. There you go. So it's gonna be exported to cars and slash. After that, you will see here uh, the PNG. You can export in this format PNG or SVG, PDF, whatever you want. That's case I'm gonna keep in PNG. Uh, here in one X, I will keep as two X. This will uh, be about this, the size, all right? The scale of your image. Or if you want to, for example, ah, John, I want to export this in, let's say six, 600 with if you can just type 600 and then press w so if you do this when you export your image uh, with the size is gonna be exported in 600 or if you want to export by heights you can just type for example a thousand and eight you're gonna apply here a uh, thousand and in heights uh, size right okay but that case i will keep this in that way here, if you click here, you can see the name is last name. That is the path of of this object. Is last name uh, the scale suffix? I want to remove the scale suffix. I don't want to display this. I click in this X and then I'll hit done. Okay. After that, I'm gonna skip the selected and click here on top to copy export format to clipboard. Once you copy, you you can uh, paste the settings that you did here in another's slices i will just select them and click in this button that is replace export setup from clipboard click here good right now the setups has been applied to others export and slices can you see that all of it it has 1000 in height size good all right now what you need to do my friend it is to click here in export slices once you click here it's gonna ask you to select a folder to show you uh, this happening in real time i'm gonna just grab here this uh, folder i will place here there we go and now you can see my screen all right in two sides oh look what's gonna happen i have this empty folder all right and then i'll hit here export slice click here i will export in this 
uh, folder here in this root folder click here on top export here below actually and then look at this affinity will create this folder that is called cars all right look at that and then if you open your cards has been exported and pay attention to this because it's very nice remember that we have applied the 1000 in height size look we got so this size here in 1000 height if you want to change this for example ah, i want to export in 500 uh, with it just type here and then what's gonna happen nothing because you need to click on export if you want to click here in explore export this slice here you can click in this button can you see here my mouse click here and then you can select the folder and then i will just change the name to 500 video and look at this now your uh, object here has 500 width all right so far so good you saw me doing here all these easy process okay the step by step and now it's time to show you how to export this automatically it's very easy trust me to do that my friend i will just enable here this option that's called export in continuous this option here on top can you see my mouse here click to enable okay it's enabled after that what's gonna happen is going to export this automatically okay to see this happening you need to let me open here first uh, affinity all right and then I'm gonna change these colors here let's say I want to change this guy here I'm gonna just select these curves all right <laughs> And then look i'm gonna open the folder and right now affinity has just exported this automatically i have so my uh car here exported so imagine you know how much let's say how much time you're gonna save when you are working when you are exporting this automatically and also you can change all these colors let's suppose that you want to change these colors over here i'm gonna change this right now view that's fine just for a uh, great example and then i'm gonna open here the folder and look at this i have already my project exported successfully all right so always when you change the project it's gonna export automatically but be careful with this tip that i'm gonna give you if you close your project and open again you're gonna lose this option and then you need to export again and then enable this so just be aware about this situation all right and now if you do anything here it's gonna export automatically okay that's it for now i hope that you really enjoyed this quick tutorial and if you have any questions comment here below and please join the club if you want to learn much more tutorials i have more than almost 300 tutorials already on the club teach you affinity designer okay thank you so much for your time see you in the next video and bye bye take care